In 1944, there was a film called Gaslight. It was about a husband who manipulates his wife and makes her question her reality. For example, when she notices the gas-powered lights in the house flickering, he tells her it's her imagination. Is that what's going out of my mind? Not going out of your mind. You're slowly and systematically being driven out of your mind. Herein lies the origin of the term gaslighting, an insidious form of psychological control where one uses false information to make another doubt their memory, perception and sanity, making it difficult for them to see the truth. If you've heard it around lately, I blame maths. And this has got to do with stereotypical gaslighting behaviour. Yes. Specifically, season eight, episode 17, air date March 21, after which Google searches for the term spite. It's been everywhere since. Gaslighting. 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 Gaslighted. Coincidence? Yeah, maybe. Or maybe we're getting better at clocking it when it happens in public life too. For example, in March, the EU blocked 250,000 AstraZeneca doses from coming to Australia. The government assured us that... This does not affect the pace of the rollout. Well, it did. And a few weeks later, the government said... That was obviously going to impact the early, uh, the early success. That's a gaslight, Australia. Look, it's false information that has you doubting your memory, making it harder for you to see the truth that the government stuffed up the vaccine rollout. There's one more key word here, insidious. Gaslighting can be hard to spot, but you are in a much better position to do so now that you know what it is.